Athletes train long and hard. They need to prepare mentally and physically to compete in their one event on the world stage. Cedric Dubler does too, but for 10 events. He competes in decathlon, 10 track and field events over a gruelling two days, earning points based on his times. He says it's the challenge he enjoys the most. It's sort of that event that can't be perfected or beaten. Uh, you're always going to have highs and you're always going to have lows in a competition. At Rio, Cedric was the first Australian decathlete at the Games in 16 years. At this year's decathlon championships in London, he was ranked 18th in the world. And the Brisbane locals just been named one of next year's Commonwealth Games ambassadors. Yet he's struggled to garner the attention of big name sponsors. So he turned to social media. First, to improve his on-camera presence. Welcome to day one of the decathlon. Now he has a successful YouTube channel and more than 22,000 Instagram followers. But it's grown into this massive community behind me and I think that that will help with sponsorship in the future. What separates Cedric from other athletes is the way he engages with his fans. He's got more than 5,300 YouTube subscribers and it's through video blogs that he'll be taking each and every one of them on a journey to the Commonwealth Games. He's also using the platform to encourage young athletes to pursue their goals, showing them the day-to-day -day life of an elite athlete. Every single day I get messages from young athletes and decathletes especially being like, you've inspired me to go try my first decathlon or, or what sort of tips can you give me for, for going into my first decathlon. And Cedric's coach says his social media shines a spotlight on the underrated sport. Yeah, I think there's a fair bit of resurgence coming through and as I said he's got a very high media profile and he promotes the sport really, really well. Cedric is confident he'll qualify at Nationals to compete at the Gold Coast next April. And as for whether he'll pick up a medal? I just about put my house on it. If he's not injured, he will medal. Lily Greer, QUT News.